Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us. For those of you who joined us yesterday for the academic presentation of the promotion, tenure, and emeritus, welcome back. We sure have some amazing faculty here at NAU. Now I'd like to introduce the 16th president of Northern Arizona University, Dr. Rita Hartung Chang. Good afternoon. I am excited to join you as we gather to honor our faculty and staff for their contributions to NAU. Through the awards we present today, we acknowledge the commitment of our faculty and staff working to ensure the success of thousands of our students who accepted the challenge of pursuing a degree and continuing their education during a pandemic. And we also thank you for your efforts resulting in more than 2,500 graduates receiving their degrees several weeks ago. As we continue to invest in resources that have enhanced the quality of our academic environment, your contributions change and shape the lives of students and their careers. We see this in our programs, our research, and in our faculty, staff, and students' many awards and recognition. It is found in your research, not just in quantity, but in its breadth of disciplines and scope. Last year, NAU climbed to number 75 among public universities without a medical school in the National Science Foundation rankings. We expect to continue rising based on our growing numbers. Research and development expenditures are projected to be 65 million in 2020, up from 58.9 million last year, a record for NAU. Your contributions to COVID-19 research and initiatives have been outstanding as we have made our way through a historic global pandemic over the last 10 months. We are leading in many areas because of the expertise you bring to NAU. You have also led in discovery and invention, filing 43 invention disclosures and 38 patent applications in FY20. You were also issued 19 patents. Patents and invention disclosures enhance U.S. global competitiveness and the national security and lead to innovations that grow our economy while improving our quality of life. Your dedication is also evident in our national recognition from the Association of Public and Land-Grant Universities for our use of innovative and evidence-based approaches to improving degree completion while ensuring academic quality. The improvements are exceptional. In the last six years, NAU's four-year degree completion rate rose 12 percentage points. Our six-year graduation rate rose 7.2 percentage point, And our four-year completion rate for underrepresented minorities rose 14.5 percentage points. The number of baccalaureate degrees NAU awards annually also increased by more than 1,500. Your support in all of these efforts directly impacts our students' success and is the heart of NAU. Our graduates repeatedly cite the impact you have had on their success, including a Gallup poll finding that when compared to graduates from peer institutions, our lumberjacks are more likely to have received personalized support, experienced career success, and achieved noticeably higher levels of well-being and workplace engagement. They attribute their success to you, our faculty and staff. I appreciate all you do to ensure our students receive a quality experience and the best education possible. Congratulations to all of today's honorees and thank you for your dedication and commitment to Northern Arizona University. Thank you, President Chang. Our program today provides an opportunity to recognize some of the best faculty and staff from across the university. We'll start with the Teachers of the Year, followed by the 2020 Teaching Awards, the 2020 Research and Creative Activity Awards, and then I'll be back to present the President's Achievement Awards. Please welcome NAU's Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Diane Stearns. Thank you, Josh. It is an honor to recognize NAU's College Teachers of the Year, selected by their colleges for contributions to high-quality teaching and college-specific achievements. Honorees receive a $1,000 faculty development fund and are eligible for an additional two years of faculty development funds through membership in the NAU Teaching Academy. The Academy supports new collaborations, influences campus discussions around the strategic goal of being a learner-centered institution, and helps the campus benefit more broadly from the insights of NAU's extraordinary teachers. 
In addition to being recognized as high quality teachers, there are college specific criteria determined by each college that must also be met to advance to college teacher of the year. In addition to the development funds, honorees are receiving an award containing a Tozan kiln tile created right here on NAU's campus. Thank you to Jason Hess, Professor of Art, for making these beautiful tiles. Tozan means East Mountain, and that symbol is represented on the tile. From the College of Arts and Letters, Angie Hansen. From the College of Education, Sarah Beth Kundratuk. From the College of Engineering, Informatics, and Applied Sciences, Fetia Oziz. From the College of the Environment, Forestry, and Natural Sciences, Lisa L. H. Chen. From the College of Health and Human Services, Janice Longfield McMillan. From the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Matt Anderson. From NAU Yuma, Norma Heather Clark. From the W.A. Frankie College of Business, Gavin Yuli Zhang. Congratulations again, and now for a special message from our wonderful deans. Congratulations. Thank you to all our deans. It is my pleasure to introduce Lori Dixon, Vice Provost of Curriculum, Assessment, and Accreditation, who will present the 2020 Faculty Awards. Thank you, Diane. It's now my pleasure to present the 2020 NAU Teaching Awards. Honorees will receive a lovely desk plaque. The first award category is the NAU Awards for Faculty Excellence in Global Learning. We are celebrating two exceptional faculty members who have addressed all three of the Global Learning Initiative themes of diversity, sustainability, and global engagement in their work at NAU. Our first awardee is Christina Gutierrez Dennehy from the Theater Department. Christina has developed globally focused curricula through substantive and innovative engagements with both African and Asian acting and stage traditions, as well as emphasizing women's voices in her courses. Our next awardee is Mark Molinero from the School of Hotel and Restaurant Management. Chef Mark is known for his work with internationally known chefs and the incorporation of diverse local, including Native American and international cuisines into his courses. Congratulations to both, and thank you for your hard work in advancing student access to global learning initiatives. Next, I'm pleased to present the NAU Award for Liberal Studies Excellence to Kevin Aguas from the W.A. Frankie College of Business. Kevin has exceeded the goals of the liberal studies by providing engaging simulations and team-based projects that promote critical thinking, conceptual learning, and quantitative reasoning. Students from multiple disciplines are making meaningful connections between their financial activities and their futures. Congratulations, Kevin. Our next award is for Excellence in Online Teaching, which recognizes sustained instructional excellence and commitment to NAU's core values. We are honored to recognize Susan G. Smiley from Anthropology for her record of achievement and commitment to academic excellence, not only in online education, but to NAU's broader goals as an institution. Congratulations, Susan. The next award is one that captures NAU's essence nicely, since it combines the ability to create a quality undergraduate experience with our ever-growing research presence in Arizona and beyond. I'm pleased to present the NAU Award for Excellence in Mentoring Undergraduate Scholarship to Stephanie Hirsch from Chemistry and Biochemistry. Congratulations again to all the award winners for their positive impact on student learning. And now, President Chang will present the President's Award for Faculty and Academic Professionals. I'm pleased to recognize two individuals receiving the President's Award for Faculty and Academic Professionals, Biology Professor Dr. Catherine Proper and Klein Library Full Archivist in Special Collections and Archives, Sean Evans. Please know it is impossible to summarize their many contributions in under two minutes. I will highlight a few of their achievements. Dr. Proper is being recognized for her significant efforts to advance campus diversity. Over the past five years, she has secured $1.9 million to support scientific research by undergraduate and graduate students from diverse backgrounds. In 2014, in collaboration with Dr. Leslie Schultz, Dr. Proper obtained $1.25 million 
through the NIH for the project Native Americans Exploring Global Health Disparities to support Native American and other underrepresented minorities in STEM fields while conducting research on health disparities. While administering this program, Dr. Proper applied for and received a second minority supporting grant from the NIH entitled NAU Rise for Native American Students. These two NIH-funded programs provide financial support and research opportunities for over 100 diverse students at NAU. Sean Evans began his career at the library as a reference specialist in 1981. In 2001, he became reference slash academic programs and course support librarian. Sean excelled at working with faculty and students in the Colleges of Arts and Letters, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Education, and Business. In his current role as a full archivist, he has combined his expertise in teaching, reference librarianship, and archives to creatively grow and strengthen SCA's instructional and internship programs. It is impossible to outline his many contributions during the last 38 years. I'll name a few. He has organized the NAU archives to create a highly accessible and usable collection and has aligned his professional, university, and library accomplishments in ways that bring recognition to the institution, contribute to the understanding of the Colorado Plateau region, and provide outstanding learning opportunities for students. Sean has served on many library and university committees. His significant work in a handful of areas has connected his passion for the history of Arizona, the Colorado Plateau, and the Southwest with the mission and goals of the library and the university. Thank you, President Chang. Recognition of President's Distinguished Teaching Fellows began in 2008. This award recognizes teaching scholars whose student-related activities represent the highest levels of excellence and who make a significant impact on graduate or undergraduate learning through departmental and campus-wide engagement. President's Distinguished Teaching Fellows foster student success within their disciplines and because of their leadership on campus and beyond, have had an impact on the teaching of colleagues and peers. I am pleased to announce NAU's newest Distinguished Teaching Fellow, Dr. Alan Z. Reich, Professor in the W.A. Frankie College of Business's School of Hotel and Restaurant Management. Dr. Reich will be honored with an engraved medallion and his portrait displayed among the other Teaching Fellows in Klein Library. It is my pleasure now to introduce Vice President for Research, David Schultz, who will present the 2020 Research and Creative Activity Awards. Thank you, Amy. I'm indeed pleased to help present this year's Research and Creative Activity Awards, awards that recognize outstanding achievement and outstanding promise in research, scholarship, and creative and artistic endeavors. Honorees receive a desk plaque in addition to a cash prize. Nominations for these awards come from the faculty of NAU's departments and schools, through their chairs and directors, and are diligently reviewed and selected by a committee. Always a challenging process given the high quality of the nominations received. First, let me recognize the recipient of the NAU Award for Most Promising New Research Scholar, Dr. Fatma Afka, Assistant Professor in the School of Informatics, Computing, and Cyber Systems. Fatima's work has made significant contributions in wireless communications, biomedical signal processing, and computer-aided decision-making in medical systems, as exemplified by an exceptional record of scholarly publications and success in obtaining extramural support for her research. She was recognized by her department and the committee for the significance of these accomplishments, as well as the great future promise her career holds. Please join me in congratulating Fatma. Congratulations are also due to Dr. Jay Walk Lee, Assistant Professor in the School of Art, who has been selected for this year's NAU Award for Most Promising New Artistic or Creative Scholar. Jay's work combines performance, music, video projection, and advanced technology to engage the viewer, and his integration of artistic and non-artistic media together adds to the contemporary state of the art. He has numerous publications, group screenings, 
solo exhibitions, and over 20 invited lectures regarding his work. Dr. Lee's seemingly boundless artistic energy and dedication to artistic production were noted by his colleagues in recognizing the promise of his career. Please join me in congratulating Jay. Next, I'm honored to present the NAU Award for Most Promising Graduate Research Scholar to Kathleen Orndahl. Katie is a postdoctoral candidate in the School of Informatics, Computing, and Cyber Systems and is pursuing her degree under the supervision of Dr. Scott Goetz. Katie studies the impact of barren ground caribou, a subspecies of reindeer, on vegetation in the Arctic using remote sensing. Her nomination materials demonstrated clearly to the selection committee the great promise of her research in the study of modern wildlife ecology and the science of animal movement and habitats, as well as the great promise of her career as a scientist. Congratulations, Katie. I would like to extend my congratulations to Kirill Kirchhoff, who has been selected for this year's NAU Award for Most Promising Graduate Artistic or Creative Scholar. Kirill is pursuing a master's degree from the School of Communication. Kirill is working with refugees in Vienna, Austria, and during his time at NAU has put together an international team of teachers, professionals, and government organizations to envision a program that trains refugees to tell their contemporary stories through photography. His efforts have been recognized by the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, which is a division of the United Nations with a mandate to protect refugees, forcibly displaced communities, and stateless people. Congratulations, Carol. This year's NAU Award for Graduate Research Mentorship goes to Dr. O. Kim Kang, Professor of Applied Linguistics in the Department of English. Over the course of her NAU career, Oakham has advised 14 graduate students pursuing master's or doctoral degrees. All the letters in support of Oakham's nomination from former students described her as a dedicated and inspirational mentor who takes great care to involve students in projects that uniquely suit their academic and professional interests. The review committee clearly recognized the great thoughtful implementation, personal care, and immediate and lasting value of Dr. Kang's mentorship of her current and former mentees. Please join me in congratulating Oakham. Congratulations are due to Dr. Ann Cummins, professor in the Department of English, who is this year's recipient of the NAU Award for Graduate Artistic or Creative Work Mentorship. Dr. Cummins celebrated her 30th year as a member of the creative writing faculty at NAU and has mentored over 20 graduate students. Several of the letters in support of Anne's nomination know that, that she continued to engage and mentor them long after they leave the university. One of her support letters lauded Dr. Cummins for her unparalleled ability to guide another's creative voice without overwhelming the sovereignty of the work in progress. Congratulations, Anne. Next, I'm honored to present the NAU Award for Most Significant Artistic or Creative Work to Dr. K.T. Thompson, Associate Professor in the Department of English. K.T.'s award recognizes the significance of the novel Blanket, which was published by Bloomsbury Academic Publishing and examines the hidden lives of ordinary things as part of the Object Lessons book series. K.T.'s work was recognized for its poetic flourish, by Pop Matters and appreciated for the many ways that it was able to educate and surprise by the New York Journal of Books. Congratulations, KT. It's a great honor to present this year's NAU Award for Most Significant Research or Scholarly Work to Professor Megan Warren of the Department of Physical Therapy. Megan's study analyzed over 1.5 million outpatient physical therapy visits by Medicare beneficiaries to assess the effectiveness of the congressionally directed functional limitation reporting program. The results communicated in her scholarly article entitled Exploration of Functional Limitation Codes for Outpatient Physical Therapy in the Medicare Population, a retrospective cohort study, were quoted as the impetus for the American Physical Therapy Association's effort to advocate Congress to change Medicare policy for outpatient therapy. 
The changes recommended by the APTA were adopted in 2019, which highlights the significant impact Megan's work has had on practicing physical therapists and their patients in the U.S. Together, let's congratulate Megan. I'm excited to extend my congratulations to Dr. Rob Keller, Associate Professor of Practice in the Department of Biological Sciences, who is this year's recipient of the NAU Award for the Most Significant Innovation in Technology Transfer or Commercialization. Dr. Keller is internationally recognized for his work in the development of medical technology and devices to improve wound care. His work resulted in a patent issued in 2019 that described novel materials that promote the process of wound healing while also preventing infections. These materials hold particular promise for the treatment of chronic wounds, such as those experienced by diabetic patients. Dr. Keller's research has also provided practical training opportunities for students and postdoctoral scholars to prepare them for high demand technical jobs in Flagstaff, the state of Arizona, and the nation. Please join me in congratulating Rob. Finally, please join me in congratulating all the 2020 Research and Creative Activity awardees. Now, I'd like to welcome back Josh Mackey for the presentation of the President's Achievement Awards. Thank you, Dave. Now it's my honor to present the 2020 President's Achievement Awards. This award was established over 20 years ago to recognize outstanding non-faculty employees from across the university. In addition to joining a distinguished group of former award recipients, award winners receive a desk award and $2,000. Colleagues who nominate individuals for this award must provide specific examples of the nominee's contributions to the university. These individuals must demonstrate extraordinary performance, dedication to the university's mission, value, and goals, and actively work with others to create community in the workplace. The following individuals stood out among the exceptional group of nominees and are the 2020 NAU President's Achievement Award winners. Cindy Chilcote, Human Resources. Paula Logie, Office of the Registrar. Sharon Lovich, University Advising. Beverly Rodriguez, Postal Services. Lori Rubino Hare, Center for Science Teaching and Learning. Greg Schneider, Academic Success Centers. Cindy Summers, Klein Library. I would like to congratulate each of the award recipients one final time and thank you all for joining us to recognize some of the amazing individuals who make NAU an extraordinary place to work. We wish you the happiest of holidays and look forward to next semester. <laughs>